This game player strategy tape is full of hints, tips, and playing strategies. To get the most from this tape, we suggest you first read the manual that comes with the cartridge and also have some experience playing the game. Good luck from the editors and game players at Game Players Magazines. Welcome to Ninja Gaiden Game Player. Your weapons and your skill with them are keys to this game. You have your sword. To collect strength and weapons, you must get these. Some are of little use. Others you must have to beat a particular enemy. This tape will help you learn these skills. Your sword is an important weapon, but your ability to jump and leap is too. Practice on this level. Here's one of your best weapons, the fire wheel. Remember, it uses up spiritual strength. And here's an invincible fire wheel. It's the best weapon for speed. Watch. Unfortunately, it only lasts a few seconds. This time freeze stops the enemies for five seconds. You really don't need this one. Another very useful weapon, the windmill throwing star. Here's how it works. These guys are bad if they ever punch you. They get very aggressive. You need to get them fast. In Jay's bar, you must defeat the barbarian. Run up and stab him, then jump on the wall. Watch. Our ninja has reached the outpost. Your jumping is very important here. Practice using the different weapons. This area isn't too bad. Your progress needs to become smooth and fast. Here's a series of well-timed jumps. Here's a jump and slash. Unlike other weapons, you use this every time you jump. And you use up energy fast. Be careful. Now for Death Valley. There are several rough spots here. Hint, if you stand on the left edge, you can kill this reaper with your sword before you jump across. Timing becomes more critical now. This is one of the hardest parts of this area. You must get the invincible fire wheel, then hurry. This fire wheel is very important. Unfortunately, our ninja has very little energy left. With these five points, he only gets to use the fire wheel once. And he misses the reaper and has to get by the hard way. Try to hit Bomberhead when he has his sickle and chain high in the air. You can get some protection up the wall. Crystal Lake isn't a nice place to visit. You get to meet your first birds. Here's a helpful time freeze. Watch for cougars coming from behind. Your sword works fine here. These small steps are hard. Watch out for the hawk.
This world ends at Yomi's Cave. We're in the Lizard Mountains now. You must go quickly here to avoid the bazooka fire. Get this windmill throwing star. You'll need it shortly. Here's one use. And here's another. You must get this fire wheel to survive Yomi's cave. The best way to get hawks is to duck, then turn, kneel, and stab them. Watch out for the cougar here, then time your jump carefully. You'll meet Basa Quare in Yomi's cave. He's tough. Try to get here with full power and a lot of energy. You'll need the fire wheel we showed you. Where you stand is crucial too. Our ninja just ran out of spiritual strength, but manages to finish him off. We're in the Amazon. Your skills should now be sufficient to play through these areas. We'll help with the tricky spots. This spider is an extra life. Don't miss it. Here's an invincible fire wheel. It can really help. Watch out for the hawk here. Jump and let the cougar run past. The Boslisk minefield. You'll have to beat several new adversaries here. The time freeze will help you get across the bridge. We've reached the Hall of Demons. Here's a good technique sequence. Get this windmill throwing star for it. Then climb jump to here and be patient. This restores physical energy. You must get this windmill throwing star for the next level. Run toward the middle here so you can use your fire wheel or sword. Wait for them to land. Once you exhaust your energy, use your sword. The prison of the dead is a hard area. Again, your speed is a factor here, but so is your patience. The cliffs aren't too bad. Work your way to here. You'll need this invincible fire wheel. And here's another energy restorer. Make your way across the East Tower's outer wall to here, the place of red execution. This really isn't too bad either. Go in close and slash as fast as you can. Be careful not to touch him with your body. The Death Bridge. Collect as much spiritual strength as you can here. You'll need it. Welcome to the Temple of Darkness. The action is fast and constant here. You'll need this windmill throwing star. For here, here's a new enemy. Jump and stab him. Make sure you get this jump and slash. And this strength. Here's another invincible fire wheel you must have. You're almost there.
Now we're in the Hall of Judgment. You must concentrate on collecting spiritual strength. You have to leave this level with at least 96 units to win. Restore your physical energy. Here's a bad spot. You can see why the time freeze is useful. But you have to get to it. Kill the jumper in the air and run for it. You must get this fire wheel. You should arrive here with the fire wheel. Attack the red nose. Keep shooting as fast as you can. If you run out of energy, use your sword. Good luck. This is just practice for what's ahead. Now you must face Jockeo. Here's how our ninja does it. You'll need to arrive here with at least 96 units of spiritual strength and the fire wheel. Avoid Jockeo's fire by running in the opposite direction, then turn and fire at it. In the final area, you are attacked by the demon statue come to life. Again, you must have fire and great spiritual strength. The head will fall off. It's frightening, but not too damaging. Now, as for how the story ends, well, we'll just let you discover that.